Hello Capricorn, we're getting ready to do your reading. We're going to do three shuffles for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you stopped by. Hope everybody's enjoying a nice weekend here in the U.S. anyway. We have a holiday. Okay, so we're cutting the deck. Capricorn, let's see what we have in love for you at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Wands, fiery movement, forward, passionate, very Sagittarius energy, nice energy for you, Cap. All right, so you and your beloved in the recent past have had the mutual energy of temperance, Sagittarius energy. The current mutual energy is Eight of Cups. Ooh, Eight of Cups. Pisces energy. The way your person sees or views a relationship right now, Four of Cups, that's Cancerian energy. The way they view you, Capricorn, is the Eight of Coins, Virgo energy. In their heart space, ouch, Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. The way they view the relationship moving forward is the Libra Queen, Queen of Swords. The mutual energy hidden between the two of you is the Three of Cups. Cancerian energy. Spirit is saying that there is a lot of ego-driven activity in this relationship. Leo energy, five of wands. It's actually recommending that you compete for the relationship. Interesting advice telling you to fight for the relationship. The outcome card, whoa, Gemini, Virgo energy. The outcome card for this reading is a magician card. Let's see what we have here, Capricorn. So it looks as though you may have had a reconciliation in the recent past, and that both of you felt as though you couldn't really resolve the problems. Whatever has been challenging the relationship, whatever betrayal, your person views you as having perpetrated or that was experienced in the relationship, has left your person very doubtful, very skeptical if things can get better. The two of you are really special to each other. You're very dear friends. There's a lot of passion in this relationship. You may have worked together. But when we get the, this energy, and Spirit is actually recommending that you fight for the relationship, both of you are trying to make this work. Both of you are being almost secretive about it, but the infinity symbol is right up here on the magician's cap. So let's jump in here and see what's going on with this reading. The Eight of Wands. What is, why is the Eight of Wands passionate, fiery, Sagittarius twice? That Sag energy is strong. Okay, so what is going on here with the Eight of Wands? Okay, we have trying to work things out very enthusiastically trying to balance things you know i see the energy of you know the eight of wands and it's passionate but you're trying to stay calm cool and collected it looks as though both of you are trying to take a dispassionate balanced view of how this can work out so that's what you came into the reconciliation with in terms of your energy why did you try to reconcile, or why is reconciliation here in the form of the temperance card? All right, devil energy. So there was some control issues, and it looks as though traditional beliefs could have been binding the relationship. You weren't on the same page. It looks as though you had basic disagreements about that. The Eight of Swords says, that's not how I feel, it's not what I believe. There was a lot of unhappiness in the relationship in terms of what your belief systems are. That's how it's coming out. The energy of why the two of you are walking away from each other is that you're both very stable on your own. Taurus and Virgo energy and the Virgo energy of, okay, so it looks as though what you've agreed upon is to take time out and to think about things. It looks like you're walking away temporarily, but the hidden energy is that you reunite, you reunite again or you have a reunion again, Capricorn. 
because you're still trying to manifest each other. So it looks as though you're both really thinking about everything that went wrong in the relationship. You're trying to stay calm and yet the reconciliation is left you in this place of trying to search for answers on each on your own again. You're both very successful. You don't need each other for anything other than love. So that hermit energy says that you're both in a very strong energy of searching for answers, enlightenment, really trying to find what's important to you and what may not be so important to you. Being willing to be more flexible on your belief systems. Sometimes it's just religious differences. Sometimes it's differences about wanting to have children. Sometimes it's differences about how you'll live your lives. But for everyone, it will be a little bit different. Why is the Four of Cups here for beautiful Capricorns? Your person has fire in their belly, even though they feel as though the situation has never panned out. They feel very betrayed by the situation itself and the way the two of you are having difficulties. They feel that there's nowhere to go with this. They feel as though, you know, you are their ship that's arrived in the harbor. You are their person. They have fire in their belly for it. But the Ten of Swords says that they feel that they have suffered an emotional betrayal in this relationship. Tell us more about that. Spirit, tell us more about this, whatever's perceived by Capricorn's partner. Yeah. It looks as though they feel that you left them behind or you abandoned them in some way. At some point in your relationship, before trying to get together, it looks as though you may have just gone silent on them. It looks as though you might have just, I wouldn't say ghosted, but Hermit card with the Six of Swords says very seriously that the break was appeared, at least on your person's part, to be forever. And they're not over that. They have to work through that energy. They see you as someone who's willing to work on the relationship. They see you as the happiest person that they've ever been with and that you bring them the greatest amount of happiness that they've ever had in a relationship. Why do we have the Ten of Swords lurking in this relationship? Right in the heart of it, your person wants to come in. Honey, I'm home. They really want you in this relationship. They feel that you're the one. Capricorn, your person wants to be very reliable. They have a lot of passion and love for you. They just feel as though there's too many people around you is what I'm getting. I'm getting that you may work with a lot of people, you may, be, it looks as though Capricorn, you're highly desirable, which of course, why wouldn't you be? Here you are in your reading. But I feel as though they think there were just too many other people around you and that their belief system is, you know, one person, one relationship. So we get this competition here. So it looks as though your person is taking the stance of I'm gonna look at the facts and only the facts about what has happened. Your person is taking a very strong judgment type desire to throw caution to the winds. They wanna make a final decision. They want to release either you or their commitment to you. I'm getting that, yeah. I'm getting this energy that both of you really love each other but they don't think that they can endure the weight of trying to compete with your for your attention. They are still hanging around though, even after they say they aren't. Again, trying to seek enlightenment, both of you are. Both of you are, okay. So why do we have the Three of Cups here for Capricorn friends? Moving slowly and methodically with Virgo energy. Why is there all this competition? And Spirit is saying, fight for the relationship. Six of Cups, your soulmates. Both of you have to heal. Both of you are not listening to one another. You're competing. It looks like you're very competitive in the relationship. Spirit is saying you need to make love. Oh, wow. Okay, here's the combination of pregnancy. When we get the Ace of Wands, it takes a wand to make a woman pregnant, and we have the pregnant Empress, Capricorn, 
spirit is recommending that you fight for the relationship. It looks as though there could be an unexpected situation here with possibly um, a new child. It's only a possibility. Again, you know, when we get the Ace of Wands and this energy, what we're saying is if you are not hoping to have a child, you should probably take precautions against it. Okay, so this is quite a reading, Capricorn. Quite a reading. Okay, so why is the magician energy here? Why is this magician energy here? I feel as though Capricorn, your person starts to leave and then they stop. We have, oh, now we have Gemini energy. The lover's card reversed makes you feel like you're sort of star-crossed lovers. You're in it for the win, though. There we go, magician card again. So what we're seeing here is that this relationship, against all odds, comes together for the win. And it may be because spirit is going to jump in here and make you fight for the relationship because you could have you know, you could have more family members on the way, or at least one. So let's look, Capricorn. That's quite a stunning reading for you. <laughs> so please leave comments below. Certainly let me know what is happening in your life. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what the energy for your journey in love is. Cosmic butterfly. Okay. So we're really seeing you having broken out of the chrysalis. This is part of your development to make this relationship work is what Spirit is telling us. Shifting, the shifting universe is trying to keep the two of you together. Let's look and see what your destiny cards are. Capricorn, Capricorn, wow. Forgiveness, okay. Forgiveness is part of the destiny here. We have healing chaos. All right, so Capricorn, it looks as though even against all odds that you're coming together with your person. Let's see what the Energies Oracle is advising you to do. What is the advice for Capricorn friends? What is the advice for Capricorn in love? Very, very um, tense reading. Wish upon a star. Well, there's the sun. That's the brightest star of them all. Let's see what else Spirit is advising. A burst of magic. We've had the magician twice. Well, that burst of magic may be a very passionate encounter. So I'm going to leave it there. Take it as it resonates. Thanks so much, Capricorn. Bye-bye.